uh, one question per uh, person. We start with uh, you and I shall ask Mr. Yannikura to come with a uh, short answer, not, not in some bites like for television, but the uh, substantive answer, answer so that as many people can ask questions. Hey. Hello, Henry Trexler, The Economist. Um, in your statements uh, just, you just made, you've, uh, you've uh, laid out some, a lot of macro suggestions uh, for what the government and others should do to revitalize Japan. But it, it seems that you leave your, your own members off the hook a bit, um, because uh, there, a lot of people would argue that the problems within Japan are micro just as much as they are macro, um, in terms of things like women in the labor force, in terms of things like, especially in human resources, failure to hire people with an outside view of the world, people who travel the board, people with PhDs. I would like to ask you with regards to human resources, what do you consider to be the biggest human resource problem in Japan that limits this revitalization and what would you do about it? Hey, the biggest issue about human resources is a, uh, we are the current population and low birth rate. And uh, so this phenomenon has a uh, very, very serious impact from both supply side and demand side. Demand side, we have to prepare for the decline of the uh, output demand in the future. And supply side probably will be able uh, will not be able to uh, fill up a uh, 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 necessary workforce in the future. Probably 2050, when 1.3 uh, person has to uh, uh, support a senior person, and that around that time is very very difficult. So uh, we should, of course, you you criticize a uh, uh, Japanese my you know the companies. Uh, do not uh, uh, utilize the female manpower. Of course, each society has its own uh, uh, history and the, 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 uh, a uh, traditional way of uh, 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 living life. And uh, uh, sometimes it's very, very difficult to get out from that uh, historic and uh, uh, traditional culture. But we are changing these days. And uh, uh, for example, uh, within my company, probably a uh, uh, female worker uh, staffs are more advantageous uh, position than uh, than male because we are trying to move move them upward faster and uh, so sometimes uh, uh, I think if uh, male uh, union members may criticize us. Uh, we, we are giving a female uh, favoritism or something like that. But we should do this and try to invite a, uh, ladies uh, to participate in, uh, in labor market. And that's important. And another one is how to, how, how, how to stop a uh, declining birth rate a stop and very very difficult to achieve that so what we are doing is uh, we should uh, keep uh, work-life balance 
And uh, so even, even male workers, uh, staffs are now given a uh, one year uh, uh, child uh, baby rearing uh, uh, holidays or something. And uh, so uh, pro probably uh, gradually it may uh, increase, we may be able to increase the birth rate a little bit. Something like that we used to call, we used to say that uh, now birth rate is 1.27 or something like that. Right now 1.3, over 1.3. And the uh, quickest solution is, of course, the uh, uh, immigration, promoting uh, immigration. And uh, Japan is only a uh, country among advanced uh, nations that do not have immigration law. And, uh, so we should uh, we should have immigration law, and so that we can invite a uh, foreign people to uh, to be naturalized and work in, within this country. And uh, so, in order to do so, uh, we ought to make this society freer, and uh, we should encourage. Uh, even, even the primary schools to teach uh, uh, English, or well, at least uh, bilingual uh, children uh, we should raise, so that in the future, probably uh, 20 years or so, uh, Japanese society may be different. Anthony. Thank you very Anthony Rowley, <coughs> Singapore Business Times. Um, you spoke of the advantages of Japan joining the TPP, mm. and I'm sure you're right, but the fact is that Japan's biggest trading partner now is, is China, ahead of the United States. China is the world's second largest economy, China has the world's greatest mm -hmm. population, and by common consent, enormous potential for the future. And much of this also applies to India, and yet neither of these countries, neither China or India, there's no possibility of them joining the TPP. Um, in the foreseeable future. So why is Japan pushing this ahead of its relations with China and India? Is this not politics going ahead of economics? As I said uh, in, my, in my speech, it is necessary to have a uh, finally EFTA uh, free free trade zone to area of Pacific. And um, it will take a year to form that EFTA. And so when we consider what kind of steps uh, uh, will be the fastest and for, for Japan uh, to, to create uh, uh, such an uh, EFTA. Uh, so we should first ASEAN, ASEAN free, free trade will be a uh, day heading for uh, 2015. Uh, uh, there will be no uh, no duties, uh, import duties uh, at that time. And uh, I'm, I think this, this, this will, will be implemented almost 100 percent because ASEAN uh, <laughs> uh, Secretary General uh, Ambassador Strain uh, is working very hard together with the uh, state head of uh, ASEAN countries. And uh, 
And then, in order to a, uh, to get more and more in the free trade area, FDA, uh, with ASEAN and others, we should create a uh, ASEAN plus three, which means ASEAN plus Japan, Korea, and China. And uh, Australia uh, wants to have a, uh, also a, uh, they want to participate in that community. So Australia, New Zealand, India, and uh, that, 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 that will constitute a uh, ASEAN, uh, ASEAN plus six. Then a uh, U.S already a, uh, expressed their concern that uh, they should, they have, uh, according to the, uh, uh, President Obama's uh, <coughs> expression, U.S. is a Pacific nation. And they are uh, not separated by the Pacific uh, from uh, <laughs> Uh, from Asia, but they are connected by Pacific Ocean to, a, uh, to Asia. And so they are really a, a want to, to be a uh, uh, participant in that free trade community. And uh, in order to do so, probably uh, because, because, because of the uh, political uh, situation in the United States, uh, uh, our business partners uh, often say that uh, you know, probably a, a U.S. U.S.-Korea uh, EPA uh, will be the last one for by uh, uh, bilateral uh, agreement. And uh, politically, uh, the U.S. is only interested in TPP. And so TPP for them is really a, a interface, a, a tool for in, interface with Asia. And so uh, that's the reason why we, we are saying that the Japan should be a partner of TPP, so that we can, <clears throat> for, for Japan, U.S. is a, a very, very most important uh, a, a country with alliance, alliance country. And uh, uh, security reason and the business reason and everything. And uh, so in order to keep the, this relations and also the movement on the part of uh, ASEAN and, and uh, Asian uh, countries, Probably TPP uh, uh, participating in TPP while we try to help create a, uh, a ASEAN plus six uh, business communities. Can we have uh, a lady to ask a question? show that we are uh, not uh, sexist and, and as uh, advanced as uh, Sumitomo Kebika. We need a lady to ask a question. A lady. Miss, uh, Mr. Nicola, I managed to do it. <laughs> Sure, I think that the petrochemical industry is very important in Japan, but 
So they feel like the Japanese government is not really critical way. Like last year, they tried to tax the Tamagasa. And uh, then Japanese com petrochemical companies are trying to move away from Japan production, like Middle East, China, or India. So I just wondering what the, uh, you would like to, the Japanese government to, to, to have policy to stop this and uh, encourage Japanese petrochemical companies to invest in Japan. I uh, cannot be very very kind. <laughs> uh, uh, am I uh, off the record or on the record? <laughs> I, uh, taxing uh, NAFTA, uh, feedstock to Peru Gengos. They, they, they try to do so, even the LDP, uh, they did. And uh, they, uh, you know, the, the reason why they are trying to do is a, uh, they want to, to have a uh, financial resource. But more important reason is that they are ignorant and stupid. <laughs> if they, no, no country, a uh, NAFSA is taxed. United States, China, uh, EU, anywhere. So, so if they, I, I told them, hey, uh, how many, how many people, hey, uh, uh, they were, uh, uh, they were of course uh, working for Peru Chemicals, and uh, even the automobile industry is supported by Peru Chemical Industry. The reason why Japanese uh, motor cars us have such a high fuel efficiency is that they, they are succeeded in reducing the weight using petrochemical product, which has a strength uh, comparable to steel and other metals. And so, even the quality of, of car, uh, in the future, probably, they will lose competitiveness. And so, I, I told them, if they do that, uh, then there will be no industry in this country. <laughs> so. Uh, back to the TPP issue, if I may, uh, you said that the Japan should join the TPP negotiations as soon as possible. Now, uh, Prime Minister Kana made a major foreign policy speech yesterday and stressed again the importance of opening up Japan. And if I may, if I'm not mistaken, you had dinner with them last night uh, uh, together with other business leaders. Now, did you get any impression, sign or hint whatsoever that the government or the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Khan, will make a decision to join the DPP earlier than June, which has been the target date for the government? And if not, how large is the risk of the uh, government making this decision in June uh, being too late for it? to uh, conclude the TPP agreement that will be uh, favorable enough to our agriculture and other sectors of the economy. Thank you. I, uh, suddenly, if they, if they can decide a, uh, in June, then it's all right. But the principles I talked about, something like uh, 
EB, EBN, a comprehensive uh, a, a free trade uh, agreement. Uh, that that strategy, a uh, Mr. Khan says. A, uh, he he will get a uh, the principle of re uh, agricultural reforms in June. That's what it, it is said, and uh, we <coughs> we in the business community are saying that it is too late. We should we should have a uh, action plan. Detailed action plan for our cultural reforms should be in place by June. And um, uh, because of the LDP, I, I'm not sure whether they intentionally a, uh, giving out uh, misleading information on TPP to uh, culture people. A, um, if there are certain uh, certain areas, uh, especially something like uh, uh, Hokkaido, uh, there are strong oppositions. And uh, so, <coughs> uh, uh, Minister Kayeda, a new uh, Meti uh, minister, uh, he said that, that he, he will conduct a uh, town meeting in, in more than 50 locations, uh, persuading, persuading our culture people and our uh, local uh, uh, economies uh, for, uh, for, 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 uh, uh, for the wisdom of, uh, or advantage of, uh, of participating in PPP and what uh, kind, kind, kind of uh, structural reform uh, uh, they are thinking of. Mr. Yannick writes 2 o'clock. Do you have time for one more question? Yeah. One more question. <clears throat> Sorry, Mike Nehu, Eurobiz Japan Magazine. Clearly, the business community is in favor of immigration. It's not happening, so the opposition is uh, from the public, perhaps from the politicians. Um, what can you say to, to overcome that opposition? Uh, can you explain why, why there is opposition? Um, the movement of people have a very uh, sensitive issues, of course. I, uh, we have the difficulty of this problem is that in in near terms, of course, there are too much unemployment. So we don't we don't need a uh, foreign workers, right? But in the future, long term, definitely, we are this. <laughs> So how to compromise the two a, uh, opposite views, long term and near term. And uh, uh, I always said that probably the best model we, we should learn is uh, in Singapore. And uh, something like they welcome a uh, intelligent, a professional, uh, those people, they con continue to welcome. But uh, uh, something like uh, uh, common labor type of uh, workforce, <coughs> they, they use up the control or uh, encourage people to come in from Malaysia, Indonesia. But when the economy is down, no more. Thank you. That's that. 
probably that type of practice may maybe uh, we have to learn. And uh, so we ought to ought to have a system that that uh, you know, Japanese ourselves are hybrid, right? From no Northern Chinese from uh, uh, something like uh, uh, Micronesia uh, uh, people. Uh, we we are mingled, and so we have we have the mixture of races. But still, they said uh, hey, uh, uh, Japan is a pure pure race or something like that. We it's wrong. So we. Ought to have to change the uh, uh, mentality or mindset of ourselves, and uh, and, and then we should uh, uh, tell or, or, or educate our people in that way. So uh, probably it may take years, but uh, we should try. Thank you. Mr. Yonikura, I want to give you a one year honorary membership to come to the club to see the sunrise. Thank you very much for coming here. I would like the members to keep sitting when our guest is leaving the room. Please come back anytime to the club. Thank you very much.